Hey Aaliyah, Dusty here from Toyota of Gladstone. Just wanted to show you a little bit more about this truck that I was telling you about um, that I think you might like. Uh, super gorgeous. I'm just going to do a quick walk around with you so you can see um, everything about it. Hopping in the driver's side here. Um, all weather mats already included. That's super nice. Um, as you can see, nice and clean on the inside. Everything looks really good. Um, actual miles right there. 9,600. Kind of hopping over here. We got a couple of different features over here. Um, this is for turning on and off. There's a power source in the back, like a wall outlet you can plug on, plug things into. Um, this right here is for your auto high beams. Um, and then this is for a bed light. There's actually a light you can turn on and off to illuminate the bed so you can see stuff back there when it's dark. Coming up here, um, this vehicle is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense. So there's a black camera. I mean, there's a camera in this black box up here. Let me get this guy out of the window. Um, this black box behind the mirror, there's a camera mounted in there. Um, so that camera does a couple of things for the Toyota Safety Sense system. Um, this button right here is the lane detection, so that camera is detecting the lines on the road and helping to keep you in your lane. Um, also the smart cruise control, so when you turn your cruise control on back here, bump it down to set it to speed, um, it will uh, send a radar signal out and detect the car in front of you and prevent you from you know, bumping into them. So set your cruise control to like 60, and let's say they jump on the road ahead of you and they're going 50, it'll slow you down to maintain a safe distance. Um, so that smart cruise control, it's all part of the Toyota Safety Sense. Um, also, automatic braking, it'll prevent you from running into somebody if they slam on their brakes and you don't react quickly enough. Um, it also can detect pedestrians and everything like that, too, so it'll keep you safe in lots of circumstances. Um, this button right here is for the following distance on the smart cruise control. You can adjust it for long, medium, and short, um, and that's done with that button right there. Uh, moving over to this side, you got all of your controls for your Bluetooth, changing the volume on the music, uh, making your making and hanging up your phone calls. Um, that button right there that says hold slash mode, that can um, change from AM to FM to Sirius if you've got it, to Bluetooth if you're listening to that kind of music. Um, and then when you're on a phone call, that's the hold button, so you can pause them and, and discuss whatever about them and then unpause them and they can hear you. Over here you got these this directional pad that's for going through all the menu buttons that are up here. Um, it won't do anything when the car's not on and the door is open but um, that's what this is for. It's for. There's a bunch of bunch of menu things in there and you can uh, navigate with that right there. Um, coming over to the infotainment, the 2019 does still have a CD player which is different than the new ones um, and um, this vehicle is it has a real, the really nice interface. Um, you can plug in and it's got Apple CarPlay so you can plug right in it'll screen mirror your phone on the on the dash right here um, this vehicle is equipped with wireless charging so that's this button right here turns on this charging pad that's down here throw your phone on there and as long as it's got wireless charging capabilities it'll start charging up you don't even have to do anything um, this is the cool feature of Tacoma you push this and it'll open your, your back window for you um, and then the ETC is for electric control transmission. Really, probably not something you're ever going to really mess with. Um, but this is an off-road, TRD off-road Tacoma. So it's got some cool features going on up here. So the cool features in the TRD off-road Tacoma are, um, let me see if I get some light here. Um, one of the coolest things is this crawl control feature right here. So you'll turn on this button um, and it will... It's kind of like cruise control for super slow speeds when you are doing some like serious off-roading. Um, the idea is that you can focus on steering and where you're trying to put your tires and keep your line and the vehicle will do all the work about just maintaining a speed. So uh, when you press it, the analog brake system goes into like super high mode and it's just trying to apply throttle and braking and trying to keep you moving forward at a constant speed regardless of the obstacles that you're going over. Um, so that's pretty cool. One of the coolest things, this dial right here will adjust that speed for you. Um, and then, so that's pretty cool. You also have a rear differential locking right there. 
Um, so there is posi traction. It'll do its thing, but you can lock up the rear diff right there if you're trying to do that. Um, and then that's for traction control. Just turns it all the way off. So um, probably don't want to do that most of the time, um, but you do have the ability to do that. I kind of skipped this stuff down here. Um, so you do have your temperature controls for everything that's going on your uh, inside the cabin all keeping the environment comfortable um, and then right there that's the that's for um, doing your four wheel drive so um, you can do from two wheel to four high um, on the fly going at slower speeds you know like you probably don't want to do it at 50 miles an hour but you can definitely do it at 25 um, and then if you need to go into four low you do have to stop put the car in neutral go into four low and then you're good to go. Um, that button right there for heated mirrors. So that's another feature. I'm um, just kind of showing you some stuff about this car. I don't want to go over everything. I mean, that could be like hours of video, but just a quick run through of everything that I think is cool about this truck. Um, back seat, just a real quick look. Um, the bottom, the seat does fold up to reveal a compartment all the way across. Um, I can just only reach this side, but there is some storage down here. Um, the back, the seat does fold down. You'll take this headrest out. It'll fit in here. Um, and then you're able to fold the seat flat. I'm just not doing it right now. And then there's some more storage back here. So coming around to the back, uh, we do have a tailgate that won't fall on you. I don't know if you've ever done that as a kid back in the day when you open up the tailgate and they're so heavy and they just fall. Well, this has a hydraulic system in it that's preventing it from just dropping. And it also assists you in lifting it back up so it's a little easier to do that. Um, this is the wall outlet I was talking about where you can turn that power off inside. Um, a little storage compartment right there to uh, maybe put some straps in or something. Yeah, so super cool truck. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My cell phone number 843-693-5644. Thanks, Aaliyah, and have a great day.